Right, here we are today. The fabulous the home of angling, South Fear Reza. Look at that, next peg to Mick Cameron. Hey, on the MPEG Mick. So I'm next to MPEG again. I think that's about how many times that is this year. How many times I've drawn next to MPEG? But, uh, we'll have a good laugh, me and Mick. And uh, that's uh, Sean Cameron's dad, if you don't know. And uh, pretty obvious Sean got his looks from his mother's side. But anyway, that's another story. So anyway, so anyway, so I've drawn. There you go, 55. Look. Now this is just an open match today. Just a Wednesday open. I like to come on the Wednesday opens in between all the feeder kings just to keep in touch because the feeder king is a, a big match to us and, um, and I, I like to keep in touch with the, what's what species of fish and then bream gone um, and we're catching skimmers, roach or whatever because that's what happens this time is you start catching roach and skimmers and everything like that uh, there's still a few big bream and with this wind blowing well it's not quite straight at us it's coming from there it's, a, it's like a, uh, that's the west, so it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's more a west anyway. That's, that's, that's north, that's west. We're on the east bank. And I'm happy with 55, especially being next to MPEG. Mick's got a great chance there on, on MPEG, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, fancy this, a good area. Always been a good area, little area. This year, let's catch a few fish here. So, and uh, there you go, Ben's dinner. I can always bring Benny, that's one of the reasons I like to come here. I can bring Ben. So uh, look at that, bit of beef, bit of ham, uh, he's got some biscuits, he's got a couple of treats as well, so yeah, he does get spoiled on his water. And my worm tumbler, there's my red worms, and uh, there's my ground bait already there, you can see it all mixed there, all nicely mixed. Flask, which is the main thing. Now somebody says there's going to be a storm, so I've put my overcoat in today. And you know the score now, I've only set three rods, but one is a feeding rod. It, that's one of them uh, extractors as you can see there they're fantastic for feeding they are, I'm gonna, I keep saying I'm going to do a little video I will do a little video of why they're, why they're so good and I've got two rods set up a 10 and 11 foot and the two lines I'm going to fish uh, they're somewhere there 14 metres and 33 metres so them's the two lines I'm going to fish and see what happens but this wind's blowing because it's blowing at me, the fish could be really short today. But one of the things I want to show you is this. I don't know if you can pick it out, but look at the colour. It's like it's really chocolate. You can you can actually you can't see anything. It's like but it's not like coloured, it's mucky. So whether that's come from the canal, I'm not quite sure. So that'll be interesting today. I've not seen it this colour for a long, long time. So whether the big barge from the canal, which well, that's what happens sometimes. What happens that big canal, the big barge comes up and down and it colours it and it sends it in here sometimes. So I don't know whether that's happened, um, but it's like a proper mucky, mucky colour. And there's my tub look there, you can see my worms, casters, pinky, straightforward, not allowed pellets or anything like that. So it's straightforward today. and. Uh, could be interesting today because, like I said, that colour, now that could do two things, it could make the bream feed, it could make them feed, and it could also turn them off, but we'll find out soon. So, but one of the things, that, one of the things this year, it's quite weird fishing sometimes, when you we talk about the draw, like you can see the, the clubhouse there where I keep drawing down this end, and last year I couldn't get away from the top section near the canal, I was there every match apart from one or two and this year I'm down this end every night not that I'm grumbling because last year I wanted to be down here and I couldn't get down here and the only section I never seem to draw a lot is the middle bit and I never have it's quite weird I'm either down here or I'm up, up there it's, it's really quite weird how many times and uh, I've been down this end so I think I've been up next to MPEG about four or five times and I've drawn MPEG once when I just missed out on feeder king so there so yeah so we're all ready anyway and uh, We've, we, we, we've not got a lot of kits at all, we don't need a lot today. Uh, next week will be a bit different, but uh, like I said, I've got two rods at all, 10 11, short line, a longer line, and we'll see what happens. And, uh, and old Ben's here, look, is all ready. Next to guarding my flask, look, you see, making sure nobody comes and pinches my flask. So uh, well, let's see, we'll let you know how we get on.
Right, uh, not a bad day. I've had um, £15 for and won the match. Um, so, um, if you wonder where I am, this is not Southfield, this is Bank End Fisheries. And I've come to do a presentation for my good friend Dale Merton. And he's got a match on here. And, uh, and he's asked me to pop along and just present the prizes. So, that's why I've zoomed off from. Uh, from South River. I've won the match £15 for, I've had 35 fish so uh, I'll, uh, in the next little bit I'll give you a little insight but just sort of let you know. I've had a nice day uh, I've not had many on my, 20, on my 14 metre line, I've caught them all at 30 metres and uh, so yeah but this, anyway while we're here this is Bank End Fishery this is, that's one lake there the, behind them trees, lovely place park behind every peg drive to your peg and uh, look at this. Nice, isn't it? Look at this lot here. There's some ugly men there, let me tell you. You wouldn't take this lot on a tug of war team, would you? Yeah, look at these. Look at them, eh? You wouldn't take them on a t in a tug of war match. Look at them. Eh? So, right, I'll fill in in a minute. Right, well, that was a bit of uh, good news. Won't match. Um, I've learnt a few things today. Actually, I've, I, it were uh, I've really uh, enjoyed it today because I've had a lot of bites today. Um, I've, I've had thirty-five fish, little skimmer. I've had a bream, three and a half. I've had a bream, two and a half, and I've probably had four, three or four pounders, and then and then a lot of roach and another fish. But I've had I probably bite every cast. Sometimes I've had to wait, obviously, um, but. Uh, and the two lines of fish, which were 14 and 33 metres, I've caught most of them at 33 metres. I ain't caught them in my short line, which was a bit disappointing. The wind were blowing in. And uh, and I thought I thought there was some fish on that. Especially being near end near end. I thought me and Mick could catch on that line at end. And uh, and, and we didn't. But at one o'clock I picked it up, cast it in. On my short line, it went round. I got on two and a half pound, and I thought, hoo, 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 at last hour they'll be they'll be waiting for me, and uh, and I kept trying it, and, and I think I had six or seven little skimmers, like two, three, four ounce fish, and I, I couldn't get another uh, better fish, and I've caught them all along, caught most of them at thirty three meters, um, so um, I've had a good match. I've had a good match. Really, I can't really grumble. I've had a, I've caught I've caught better on maggot than I did worm today for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I think you just got to swap between the two. But you knew when you were going to catch a better fish. You knew when you were going to catch one of them pounders or one of them bream. It just went quiet and you knew you were going to get one. Uh, and then as soon as you weren't going to get one, you got you got a few daft bites and little skimmers and things like that. So I've enjoyed it, really. I've, I've learned a few things. Um, they've come to ground bait, really good. I'd, I, all I was putting in were a bit of worm and some maggots. That's all I put in. I, I didn't put out else in. And uh, I've, I've caught better on double double maggot today, to be uh, to be honest with you, and uh, and weighed uh, fifty, I think fifteen far away, twelve pound was second, and there were a, a few fish about, but not many bream. Then bream, I think they've gone in back in canal now, which they normally do on a, in summer, and you it, it leaves you, you've got to catch everything, so you almost need a ground bait that you can catch everything, and and that's where I had, of course. And but no, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed mixed company as well. Next pair, we've had a good, good giggle and a good laugh, and uh, so so it were all right. So yeah, it it I'd qualified for that Wednesday final as well before earlier in the year. So somebody else has gone through. Who uh, who won at Lois Lex? Quite a few have qualified now. So but so I'm I'm happy with that today because I've learnt a few things. Won't match, and uh, and I can get ready for six round next uh, six round it. Feeder King next week, so I managed to get a ticket, swap my price. His ticket was swapped him over for, for my nine, I think, and uh, and his six. And so if I've got my price as a ticket, I must be on a flyer next week. I must be on best peg on res next week if it's prices. Uh, if it's prices. So, yeah, so, oh, so we're all right. So I'm really happy today. So I've just been to, to Dale Merton's uh, match and done their presentation for them. Great set of lads. I've known them a long time. And... Uh, Quite a few characters in that lot, so we've done that, and uh, they've had a great day. I think two hundred and twelve pound won that at uh, Bank End, so I've had a good day really. So uh, I'm gonna sit sit down now. I'm not going to watch highlights at cricket. <sighs> Made a mess of that again, but I'm not saying no. 
Um, but that's how it goes. So uh, have a great night because I'm going to order Chinese. <laughs>